Hi, it's Chris B. Williams here. I hope you're well. Today we're looking at a photo which was sent to me by one of my subscribers, Dan Rake. It's a raw image of a woodpecker. Dan wanted to know how to make adjustments to the bird without affecting the rest of the photo. To do this, we're going to make a targeted adjustment to a particular area of the photo using the overlay paint tool within Affinity Photo. First, I'm going to open the overlay palette, which can be found on the right hand side of the screen. Here you can see we already have a master overlay layer and this layer encompasses the whole of our photo and is automatically created when we open a raw image in Affinity Photo. Next we're going to select the overlay paint tool which can be found in the toolbar on the left. It's the fifth icon down or you can press B which is a shortcut on your keyboard. You should have a cursor that looks like I have on the screen with a crosshair and a circle on the outside. The crosshair is the position of the brush and the circle is the size of the brush. You can control the size of the brush by using the square brackets on the keyboard. The right square bracket increases and the left square bracket decreases the size of the brush. You can also control the softness or hardness of a brush using the hardness slider. Taking this slider to the right makes it 100% hard and taking it to the left makes it completely soft. I prefer using 0% when creating masks at this stage, but that's all personal preference. Pressing the left mouse button, we can now paint on our image over the area that we want to edit. In this case, it's the tree trunk and the bird. Now I'm primarily interested only in the shadow area of the trunk and the shadow area of the bird, so under the wing and around the head. I'm going to reduce the brush size by using the left square bracket just to encompass this branch. And I'm quite happy with that selection. There's a few areas I want to tidy up and to do that I'm going to use the overlay erase tool which is the sixth icon down on the left toolbar, or you can press E, which is a shortcut on your keyboard. And what this does, it allows me to erase areas of my selection that I didn't want. You can also control the hardness and the softness of this brush. Okay, so we've got this area of red mess and you're probably asking what this is. Well, it hasn't affected your photograph, so don't worry about that. It only affects your photograph when we go to make an adjustment. And if we look at the overlays palette on the right, you can see we now have an extra layer, which is highlighted in blue, called brush overlay. And this is a selection that we've just made. And in effect, this is just a mask. So if you go to the basics palette and we select our exposure slider, and I'm gonna move that slightly to the right, you can see that the mask disappears, but any adjustment we make to the exposure slider only affects the area where we made a selection. So I'm just going to adjust this a little so it brings out the bird in the tree trunk and separates it a little bit from the background. And I'm quite happy with that. Now if we return to the overlay palette, I want to add a second selection which encompasses only the bird and the shadow areas of the bird. And to do this, I'm gonna go down to the bottom right hand corner of the overlays palette. And on the left, you can see a little brush icon. And this is add brush overlay. We're just gonna left click on that. And you can see now we have a blue highlighted third layer, which again calls itself brush overlay. And what this allows me to do is to paint a second adjustment layer and this time I'm just going to try and capture the shadow area of the bird. Now, to get the detail I'm just going to zoom in, I'm going to press control on my keyboard or command on a Mac and scroll the wheel on my mouse forwards to zoom in and backwards to zoom out. So I'm going to zoom in, I'm going to decrease my brush size using the left square bracket and I'm going to paint in the bird's beak and just under the chin 
and over the top of the head. And I've noticed here I've got a little bit of overspill, so I'm going to press the E key to change to Erase, decrease my brush size using the left bracket, and I'm just going to erase that little area of overspill above the bird's head and under its chin. Okay, if I press Control and Zero on my keyboard, I can zoom back out now to the full shot of my image. And I can see here I've missed a little bit. So I'm going to go to the Overlay Paint tool again, which is B on your keyboard, or the fifth icon down. I'm just going to paint in that area which I missed. Okay, returning to the Basics palette, I'm now just going to make another adjustment to the exposure. And I can pump that up a little bit more to the right. And you can see I've increased the brightness now of the woodpecker under its wing, just making it stand out and pop that little bit more. So just to recap, if we return to the overlays palette, we can see we have three layers, one being our master layer, one being the initial brush layer to select the bird and the tree, and the third one being the bird itself. Now, I don't have to stop here. I can decide, well, maybe the tree is standing out a little bit too much, or there's more I can do to it. So at this stage, I can now click on the initial brush layer and return to our basics palette. And I can make further adjustments using whatever slider I see fit. So maybe I can make the tree trunk slightly darker and then even adjust the white balance just to make it a little bit warmer, to make it stand out a little bit more against the cooler background. And once I'm happy with that, I can return to the overlays palette, click on our bird selection, return to the basics and make similar adjustments. For instance, I can open up the shadows and highlights tab and I can increase the highlights on our bird ever so slightly. Again, just to give it a little bit more pop and maybe reduce or even increase the shadows. So I'm quite happy now with the way the image is looking. We've got a lot more separation between the background and the tree and the bird is popping out a little bit more just to make it that little bit more interesting. Now if we click on the little blue icons at the top of Affinity Photo on the middle toolbar here, we're interested in this mirror view on the right which is the two semicircles. This brings up a comparison of the before and after images. This is the image that we started with before we made our adjustments. And this is the image that we've edited. And you can see there's a massive difference already. Now, once we're happy with those adjustments, we can return to our single view. And once we're happy with the overall adjustments, all we need to do is to click on the develop button, the blue button at the top left hand corner of Affinity Photo, and that will commit to the edits that we've made. And this takes us into the editing persona of Affinity Photo, where we can continue to make further edits on this photograph. So I hope that's explained to you how you can use the overlay paint tool to target specific areas of your photo. If you found this tutorial useful, please like and please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.